I know that Amen. the Lord is tired of hearing from us. And at this time, we're moving into our prayer request segment. Um, I'm going to ask Deacon to play not all of the song, but a little bit of uh, reach out and touch the Lord. And um, our prayer request list today um, it's funny because I was in the cafeteria yesterday while they were looking after evangelists and then lo and behold, I see minister and deacon walking in to the, um, the cafeteria as well because uh, minister Bird's son has been in the hospitals since Thursday as well. So we'd also like to pray for him, we'd like to pray for the Anderson family because apart from sickness, uh, Brother Anderson has lost his sister in Jamaica. And um, for all the other unspoken requests, I'm going to ask Evangelist Brian to just pray after a portion of this song is played. Reach out. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. This is an appeal to reach out and touch Jesus. As he's passing away right this very moment. I'm talking to you, my sister. I'm talking to you, my brother. I'm talking to you, some mother. I'm talking to some father right this moment. I'm talking to that young man. I'm talking to that young woman. Jesus is passing away right now. If you just reach out and touch Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus of Nazareth is passing away. Heavenly Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, your only begotten Son who died on the cross, God, because through him, oh God, your people can be healed. And this afternoon, oh God, we cry out to you, oh God, for those that who are in the hospital, God, that you dispatch your angels right now in the name of Jesus. God, as they lay on the beds, oh God, I pray that you will minister to them in your sweet way, oh God. God, I pray, oh God, even as they lay, oh God, we pray for safety, oh God. We come against COVID, that they will not contract COVID in the hospital, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you'll touch the hearts of the doctors and nurses, that they will render service, God, and show compassion. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, as they are laid up in the bed, oh God, they will draw closer to you, oh God. God, we pray, oh God, that their faith will rise, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, you have healed before, oh God, so we're crying out for healing. We want your perfect will to be done this afternoon, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, oh God, for those who are mourning, for loved ones who have passed away, oh God. We know, oh God, that you see and you know all things. God, we know that you are a comforter, oh God, in the name yes, of Lord. Jesus. So, Father, I pray right now, oh God, that you comfort the Anderson family, oh God, in the name of Jesus. That, yes. God, you only the one they can cry to and seek comfort and peace from. So God, in spite of their mourning, God, I pray they will still cast their eyes upon you. You are your great physician. You are the helper of God this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Father, for those who unspoken request, God, you know the problem even before we were confronted with it, God. So, Father, I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, for those unspoken request, Lord, have you, have you. God, you see and know all things. Father, yeah. have your way among them, oh God. But more than all, oh God, their faith will still stand. Their faith will still anchor in you, oh God, in the name of yes. Jesus. God, we declare healing. We declare, oh God, your blood which never loses parts, oh God. Father, by your stripes, they are healed this afternoon in the yes. name of Jesus. You. you said healing is thy children bread. 
And Father, this is the that should be thy children bread. We leave the rest in your hands, in your care, oh God, and let your yes. perfect will be done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let God's people say, Amen and Amen. 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 Thank you, Evangelist Brian. At this time, I have come to the end of my program, and I will now hand over to our Bishop Holt, who will put on the speaker for the day. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's put our hands together, saints. Everybody rejoice in the Lord and be glad. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We want to give God thanks for his leading and his guidance to this point. And we are now getting ready to hear God's word from God's servant. Pastor Brian is going to be our, our speaker today. And we just ask that as we worship and preach with him, so that preaching will be easy. Praise the Lord. And God's name will be exalted and lifted up. And those who are in receive of the word, God, will bless their hearts to salvation and to strength and nurturing in the faith. Praise the name of the Lord. God's word never leave or go void. It's always accomplish what God says. So at this time, um, Pastor Brian, may God bless you as you come to bring God's word to us and we will minister with you so that God will be glorified and that you will be empowered with his word from on high. God bless you. Pastor Brian, congregation and loved ones everywhere, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise God. Put your hands together as he comes. Thank you so Praise much, God. Uh, Bishop, for the uh, warm introduction. Really appreciate it. I, I feel like a burden today not having Pastor Spence around and knowing that his wife is in the hospital. I know, and I, I got a text from yesterday. He was at work, and then came home and then today he has to be back in the hospital so uh, my heart is a little heavy because as, as a husband I, I can just imagine you know how, how, how it feels to have your wife um in a hospital but on a Sunday especially you know your desire is to be in the house of worship amen so amen. I, I ask of you to pray my strength I, I I'm just um just a little heavy carrying this burden um for my my beloved uh pastor Spence uh, quickly, if you have the Bible, turn to Mark chapter 10. And everyone, can you hear me clearly? Amen. You can hear me? Okay. Mark chapter 10, reading from 46 to verse 52. There is seven verses there. Mark chapter 10, reading from verse 46 to verse number 52. And truly, I give honor to God, who is the head of my life, to our bishop, to our absent pastor, to our evangelist Spence, and I have sense to my wife, evangelist Brian, Minister Birdie, and Bird, and to all the brethren, I greet you this morning in the precious name of Jesus Christ. And to Sister Samantha, you, you, you're doing a good job, and I pray that God will continue to bless you and to keep you and to give you all the desires of your heart. Amen. Didn't she do a wonderful job today? Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. I, I like the way that she's progressing in the things of God. So young people, we have to encourage them. Amen. Oh, yes. Yes. And so it, it, it says here in Mark chapter 10, and I, and I would ask you please to get a, get a pen and a pencil, take some notes. I, I like to always preach and encourage uh, the saints to take some notes so you could verify the scriptures um, later today, tomorrow. Uh, when you have some time. Mark chapter 10, reading from verse 46 to verse number 52. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out. And he said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried more a great deal, though son of David, 
have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. <laughs> mm. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise. He called it for you. Hallelujah. Mm. Rise, Jesus is calling for you. Yes. And he cast in away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. Verse 51, and Jesus answered and said unto him, what will thou that I should do unto thee? Mm. The blind man responded to Jesus and said, Lord, I'm not asking for food. I'm not asking for money. I might be hungry, but I'm not asking for those yes. things. What I'm asking for is the thing that, that I need that I can see. Yes. And it's a law that I may receive my sight. And oh, Jesus yeah. answered and said unto him, Man, go your way, your faith. Made your hand. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Take your seat quickly. Bless the Lord. I use this afternoon as a subject. Your healing is in your shout. Oh, yes. Yeah. Your healing is in your shout. Throughout the ministries of Jesus, we see Jesus for approximately three years. Jesus healed so many different people. So many methods that Jesus used oftentimes when he healed. We also see Jesus raise a dead man who is called Lazarus from the grave. And in, in audience, it was also his disciples. In other words, most of these miracles that Jesus did, it was no secret meaning that the disciples saw it. So obviously they know that Jesus is a healer. Yeah. Oh, yes. Beyond the fact that he's a great teacher, Jesus is a healer. Yes. Hallelujah. And so when you look at this text, the scripture lets you know that Jesus was in Jericho. And Jesus now is leaving Jericho because he's been in Jericho for some time. And while he's leaving Jericho with, 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 with a, a, a crowd, yeah. along with the crowd, there's also the disciples. Yes. And while he's leaving Jericho, they, the Bible said there's a blind man named Bartimaeus. Mm -hmm. He's on this highway, meaning that Jericho specifically, this highway is a busy place. That's right. So Bartimaeus obviously set himself on the highway to get yeah. food or to get money because yeah. it's, a, it's a highway, heavy traffic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so while he's on this highway, he heard a crowd, he heard a commotion, he heard some noise. Yes, sir. And he asked, What is that all about? Yeah. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth is passing. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So what he did is so incredible. Remember, Bartimaeus is a beggar. Mm -hmm. And you figure if he's on this highway and people are passing by, he would be crying out, begging. Hey! If I am a beggar and people are passing by, that is perfect time for me to beg. Yes. That's right. Amen. He's on this place and he asks the question, Bishop. He asked who or what's going on. They told him that Jesus of Nazareth it's is passing by. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Oh my goodness. Let, 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 me, let me put a pause there. Go over with me quickly to Isaiah 54. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter yeah. 54. Look at verse number 13. Are you there? Take, take, take this down for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isaiah 54 verse 13 said, On all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> and great shall be the peace of thy children. No, I'm not going to read Isaiah 9 to deconvert. For whatever reason, you, you read Isaiah 59. But sir, just so you know, it's also in my notes. Hmm. The seventh verse is also in my notes. Yeah. In other words, then, Bartimaeus 
must have heard about Jesus. Yes, sir. As a seed of right. David. Because the one thing with the Jewish people, they always tell their children about God. So notice right. his response to the crowd when he when 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 he heard it was Jesus. He didn't say Jesus. He said, Jesus, thou son of David. He said, have mercy on me. Yes, amen. Why oh, would yes. he say David? Because he must have been taught or heard about David, amen. not just Jesus. Amen. He says, amen. David, thou son. Jesus, thou son of David. He said, have mercy on me. Amen, amen. And while he's calling out for Jesus to have mercy, folks are trying to quiet him. Hey! Oh, yes. While he's calling out for Jesus, yes. folks are telling the blind, but he is quiet. Hallelujah. Sometimes the folks that is telling you to quiet is the That's same right. folks that are following Jesus and they're telling you to be quiet. That's right. And they're following Jesus to get something from Jesus. And you are calling on Jesus because, of course, you need something from Jesus. Then tell him to hold your peace. Amen. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Go over to John chapter 9 quickly. John chapter 9. I'm just going to read two verses here. John chapter 9. And it says that Jesus passed by John chapter 9, verse 2 and 3. He said that Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked Jesus, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents, that he was born blind. Jesus answered, listen carefully. What did Jesus respond to the church? He said, neither of this man sinned nor his parents, <laughs> but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Bartimaeus right. is sitting on the road begging, and he heard the commotion that Jesus Christ is passing by, and he said, now is my opportunity, because what I need is my side to be restored, because I know that the right. Son of God is a healer. I know that the Son of God can do all yes, things. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Amen, amen. Yes. Solomon wrote in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, listen to me carefully. He said, there's a season, there's a time, and there's a purpose under heaven. Yes. There's, and he said, there's a time to be born. Yes. There's a time to die. Oh, yes. There's a time to mourn, and there's a time to laugh. But he also right. said, there's a time to keep, and a time to lose. When he heard that Jesus Christ passing by, the more they tell him to be quiet, the more he shouts. Yes. Yes. Right. Amen. Shout unto God with a voice hey! of fire. Yes, Amen. make a joyful noise unto the Lord, Lord. all these hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I mean, I know your healing is in your worship. Sometimes I know your healing comes in praying and fasting. I understand that. But this season, this season, is a shout hey! unto God Hallelujah. with a voice Amen. of triumph. Jesus. Psalm is wrote in Psalms 146. Hallelujah. He said, the Lord opened up the eyes of the blind and raised oh, right. all that are bowed down low. Psalm 146, verse 8. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to raise some folks up. Oh, yeah. You be careful not to let folks tell you to be quiet. Oh, How do I shout? Oh. All you have to shout is Jesus, Jesus. Oh, All yeah. you have to do is say, Jesus, Jesus. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To his name and we are saying, oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes. Thank God. Amen. Bartimaeus. Amen. Amen. Bartimaeus, hell no. You ain't going to keep me quiet. Hallelujah. He said, you're not going to keep me quiet, sister folks. No, 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 no. He said, because I heard that Jesus Christ, the son of David, is passing by. And yes, I know yeah. something about what my parents told me, yes. that this man comes with healing. This That's man right. comes to restore. Oh, this yeah. man comes to restore and to revive. And also come to hope in the blinds. Bless God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why Bartimaeus didn't let folks stop him from praising. 
He didn't let Paul stop him from shouting for Jesus. Yes. Praise God. And by the time you get to the 49 verse, the Bible said, Jesus, stand up. Yes, sir. Stop. Remember, there's a crowd on this highway, Minister Bird. Yes. And this man, I can just imagine this man is shouting on the top of his lungs. Yes. And the Bible said that Jesus, Jesus stood still, verse 49. Yes. Yes. Amen. And commanded him to call him. While Bartimaeus is calling for Jesus. Mm. Jesus now is calling for Bartimaeus. Oh my God. Amen. And Bartimaeus is calling for Jesus. The Bible yes. said Jesus stood still and said, Come and bring Bartimaeus to me. Whatever you do, shout in the sea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have nothing against fasting. I have nothing against praying. The Bible said pray without season. But in the season, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. That's why Jesus yes. healed in various ways. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. The man in John chapter Amen. 9, Jesus spit. The Bible said he used the spit and put in his eyes. And said, go yes. wash in the pool. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah, he did the spit. And he about it. He said, part me us. Come, the same folks who's trying to tell him to quiet Jesus to bring him to me. Hallelujah. Oh, God. That's all right. Jesus, yeah. says, Jesus said, bring him to me. No, go to Joshua chapter 6 quickly. Hallelujah. Yes, your healing, your deliverance, the thing that you're seeking God for, man, in this season. Because if Solomon, the wisest man, said, every time and everything, there's a season. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what he says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. He said there's a season. Sometimes we don't know the season that we're in, you know. Oh my God. How can I preach unless they are sent? I came sent to preach. Wow. Wow. There's a season that God says, shout my name. Hallelujah. Shout unto God with a voice. Of God. Yes. yes. Amen. Yeah. Just oh. chapter number 6. Look at verse 20. Yes. So the people shouted. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the priests blew the trumpets. Yes. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound. He heard the sound. He heard the foot traffic. But yes. he heard the sound. Yes, he I hope you yes. heard the preaching. He heard the sound. When the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the people shouted with a great shout. The wall fell down. And the wall fell flat. Yes, sir. The wall didn't fall partial. No, the wall fell flat. So that flat. the people went into the city. Every man straight before him. And they took the city. Now if you go yes. to verse 1, it says Jericho was shut up. Yes. Because of the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not because of the trumpet why the wall came down, you know. Awesome. The Bible said because of the great shout. Don't yes. tell me not to shout the name of Jesus. Don't tell me not to shout. The Bible says shout unto God with a voice. Oh, mighty God. Yeah. Everything there's a season. Yes. The problem is we don't know what season we're in. Yeah. If God said there's a season for everything. Yes, yes, yes. Right? That means I'm in a season yeah. where I'm out of line according to the will of God. Because mm -hmm. I'm seeking God. I'm crying out. I'm doing all these things, but things not coming my way. What did Bart yeah. He needed food. He needed money. That's why he was there begging. Yeah. But he kept on crying out for Jesus. And when Jesus in the crowd, think about this, brethren. Is in a crowd, and Jesus heard the man calling. Explain that to mm. you. All right. Busy highway. And Jesus heard and said, bring him come. Mm. The same folks, including the disciples. Yeah. Now, if yeah. you go back to John, look at what disciples are asking Jesus. Who sinned? The reality right. does not to be debated. The man need healing because he's blind. So if you've yeah. been a disciple, you say, Jesus, heal that one man. As opposed to asking Jesus, what's the problem? Why the man sinned? What did he do? How could the man born a sinner? How could the man 
Be, be his fault when the man born blind. It's not his fault. Amen. Let me say this again. They are questioning Jesus whose fault yes. why the man is blind. Yes. The man born blind. Have nothing to do with the sinner because he's born blind. Yes. Meaning that from the time mm. um, his mother was conceived. conceived. The man was but the disciples, the folks in the church, are questioning your demise. Mm. You know, I hear what I'm preaching. Yes. Jesus said, bring blind Bartimaeus to me. Yes. Yes. Amen. Your healing man. Your situation is in your shout. Glory. In yes. Your yes. We don't know sometimes the season that we're in, you know. Jesus was in Jericho for some time. Yes. Bartimaeus almost missed yes. his season. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, oh my God. Preaching. Oh my God. Bartimaeus almost missed his season because Jesus was already in Jericho. Yes. The Bible yes. says that he's leaving Jericho. But he was determined, he was relentless. He got tired of being broke. He got tired of being blind. And he said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Glory to God. Your situation, your healing is in your show, man. Thank you, Lord. Bless God. Amen. Notice Bartimaeus when he came. Mm -hmm. Notice when he come to Jesus. I'm in verse number 50, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Look what he did. Yes. The first thing he did, you know, he cast away him clothes, you know. Yes, sir. The man yeah. come on him clothes that sort of dirty and of started yeah. showing him that he's a beggar. Yeah. Yes. He didn't right. look in the NIV and the other version there, it talks about a cloak. He, he didn't use mm -hmm. a garment, he used the word a cloak. And so Bartimaeus more than like was using the cloak. To sort of keep him warm. Also, when they throw the, the, the money, the coin, that he would use it to sort of capture when they throw because people in those That's days, right. the money, yeah. and he used the cloak as, as, as a method, on, as a method yeah. to, to, to keep his, 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 his situation hidden. Or maybe he used the cloak yeah. to hide himself. He, he probably was ashamed of being a beggar man. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in a situation where, 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 where we're afraid and we are ashamed to tell people our situation. Yes. Because sometimes you know we, we are proud and quietly understood. Yeah. But when he's gone to Jesus, he took off his, his coat and he said, No, I don't need that no. Because if I'm going to Jesus, if I'm going to yeah. Jesus, I don't need to walk with my begging clothes. Because Jesus open my eyes. Yes, amen. That's all right. Bible didn't tell us how long Bartimaeus was blind. No. Yes. He took off his clothes, but there are some things you have to let go, man. Yes. Bible said that you God. can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and mama. And sometimes right. we are caught Amen. in the tricks. Yes. One minute we pray for healing and healing not coming too fast, then we start to do something else. Oh, yeah. We start to fast and the fasting things that work out, and then we change from that episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, but but Bartimaeus was consistent in his yes. show. Yes. Bartimaeus yes. was yes. consistent because he knew what he needed was wrapped up in the Son of David. Right. Yes. That's yes. right. Amen. Amen. He knew it. If he didn't know it, he would not say, David, yes. Son of David, have mercy on me. Mm. When you know who Jesus is, man. Mm -hmm. You keep shouting. Oh, yes. Amen. When you know who Jesus is, you know, even though the prayer is not answering, no, you know that Jesus is going to keep his word, man. Amen. That's Amen. all right. Amen. Amen. You don't Thank need to get work. power reading. Amen. You don't need to get on the psychic outline. You don't need that. Amen. You don't Amen. need to speak the cease to Susan say, What you need to do, shout. shout. Yes, sir. Amen. Because Amen. Jesus, son of David, oh, Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Isaiah said, let me explain something. He said, unto us. Yes. Child is given. Unto us a son is born. His name is shall strong. be called wonderful. His mm. name shall be called counselor. His name shall be called mighty. His name shall be called everlasting fight. His name shall be called prince of peace. Oh, yes. Yes, Bartimaeus. No, oh, no. my God. That's why he said, son of David, have mercy on me. Yes. Jesus said, hey, 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 hey. What you want me to do for you, man? 
Yes. Why would Jesus ask the man what you want? You see that the man is a beggar. Mm -hmm. You see that the man is blind, Minister Burke. Yes. Jesus, yes. who is our yes. omniscient, yes. Jesus, mm -hmm. who is our powerful, knew that the man needed his sight. Yes. But Bishop, he asked him a rhetorical question. He said, What do you want me to do? Yes. Because some people have said, Well, I want some food, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people have said, I want some money because yes. I'm a beggar. Yes. Right. My occupation is, I am a beggar. So Jesus man, said to the man, yeah. what do you want yeah. me to do? Man wants to see this man, he wants him sight. The man in John chapter 9 did not ask Jesus to be healed. Mm -mm. Jesus said, the reason why I'm going to heal this man is because the glory of God must be manifest in his life. Oh, yeah. I have nothing to do oh, with yeah. his parents. As his disciples, he's saying, Father, Master, tell me who did sin. Mm -hmm. Bartimaeus mm -hmm. said that I may receive my sight. That's all right. Sometimes too much of us are asking God for the wrong things, man. So too. Sometimes we are praying and we are asking God for the wrong thing. But in mm -hmm. this season, shout. I challenge oh, you yeah. to shout unto God. Praise yes. God. Praise his name. Jesus says, That's all right, sir. Amen. The blind man said, verse 51, he said, Lord, that I may receive I my, my sight. sight. No, no, this is what he's saying, you know. Notice how he characterizes Jesus, you know. He said, Lord, with, a, with an uppercase L. Yes, he said, Lord, that I may receive, receive my, my sight. sight. Hallelujah. And Jesus said unto him, look at what Jesus said, you know. The other man in the text, mm. Jesus spit in the ground and get him out and put it and say, go in the pool and wash. Oh, yes. Jesus said unto him, go thy way. Your faith, Your faith has made, made you whole. whole. And mm -hmm. immediately he received his sight and yeah. started to follow Jesus, Jesus in the way. In the way. Some people have God ever healed some people. Mm -hmm. They turn away from Jesus. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. If Jesus ever healed some people of some situation, sister folks. Let's see them again. As long as you and I will never see those folks again. Yes. But the Bible yes. said after the man got his healing, he started to follow Jesus. My I want God. to give a testimony about Jesus. Yes. I want to show yes. my gratitude. That's I want right. to show much that I was blind. But now I can see. Yes. Hallelujah. That's so right. 16, he said, I love the Lord because he has heard my cry yes. and inclined yes. unto me. Therefore, will I call upon him as long mm. as I shall. As I live. Mm. As I live. I shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. How oh, shall they hear without a preacher? I came to preach. Yes. Don't let folks quiet your shout, man. Mm. Yeah. The doctor, the doctor, I tell you all of these different things that are happening to your body. Shout unto God. Yes. Because you're here yes, in this Lord. season. I don't know what season you are in your life, but this morning while I was studying, the Holy Spirit just dropped this scripture in, 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 in my thought. And I went and looked at Solomon writing and he showed me Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse number 6. It's a time to lose, mm -hmm. a time to get, and a time to cast away. But Timaeus cast away the clothes. Yes, sir. But Timaeus cast away doubt. Yes. He cast away fear because mm. he knows once I go in the presence of God, oh bless God, once yes. Jesus is calling for me, I already played my part by calling for Jesus. Yes. The Bible said, Jesus stood still. Jesus said, Call the blind man. The same yes. words I tell the boy, Jesus said, Bring him to me. Mm -hmm. If you let right in the season and Jesus left Jericho, it's your problem. That's all right. If you don't get your healing because folks are telling you to be quiet. Jesus was about to leave Jericho. Look at the text. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was just about leaving Jericho, meaning that he was in Jericho for some time. Bartimaeus was there all this time. And Jesus was leaving and Bartimaeus said, no way. Father, said, no way Jesus is Jesus going to leave and I don't, yeah. and I don't get my healing. If you yeah. let Jesus yeah. in this season, if you let Jesus 
out of this season. That's all right. Because some people need some financial breakthrough, Bishop. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us need a healing miracle. Oh, yeah. There's some of us have children who, 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 who are acting contrary. Yeah. There, there, there yeah. are some of us who, who have some situation and, and there are some of us have some family issues. But in this season, show. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's all right. Jesus. Don't believe that, Pastor. Brian say not to heat, not to not to pray and fast. That's not what Pastor Brian is telling you. I'm trying to show you how the Jericho wall came down flat. I'm trying to mm -hmm. show you how Bartimaeus got his breakthrough. The same folks in the church was telling him to be quiet. Yeah. Right. Amen. And so if he had if he had succumbed to what they were saying, Jesus would have left Jericho. Mm -hmm. And he would have been in the same predicament same 2021 yeah. and 2022. But shout! Unto God with a voice. Wonderful, Hallelujah. wonderful Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you look yes, at God, the wall, yeah. the Bible said the wall of Jericho was, was, was shut up tightly, man. Yeah. Nobody could go in and nobody could go out. And even though God had, 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 had predestined that the children of Israel should go in, they face up some obstacles, man. Sometimes there's some obstacles in our life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's some obstacles in our life, man, and we have to know how to start to navigate. That's so, right. And so in this season, man, I challenge you, brethren. I challenge you, church. I'm saying shout, man. I don't care you want to shout. You have to determine how you want to shout. But I know I'm going to shout. <laughs> oh, yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Because the Bible says shout unto God. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm shouting with a victorious Hallelujah. voice. Yes. Because I don't want Jesus to leave Jericho Road and leave me sitting there begging on. Mighty God. So you could try to keep me quiet, oh, but I'm relentless. I'm determined to shout. That's all right. Amen. So when I sit at work and I, I take a little walk outside in, in the parking lot or I go in the bedroom, I'm going to shout now. Shout. Amen. Let's go. Amen. On my lunchtime, I'm going somewhere and shout, man. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Something I shout can come in your spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm not talking about making noise. I'm talking about shout, man. This is that spiritual shout I'm talking about. That's yes. all right. Amen. Amen. That's all right. When Anna went to the temple, the, the priest thought that she was drunk. Yes. The Bible said that, that she, she, she was praying in the spirit, you know, and all her mouth was just moving. She was praying, but mm -hmm. God understands. Because the Bible said, man sees the heart toward of him, but God sees the heart. I'm sure. Glory. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Maybe my breakthrough is in, is in my shout, man. Mm. Maybe the thing that I'm seeking for is in my shout. Yes. Mm. And Timios got his healing because he was shouting. You were shouting, yeah. The wall of Jericho came down because the people shouted. People shout. I saw that. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Man. Somebody give God a praise, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise him. Praise him. Somebody shout. Yes, Lord. Lord. Bless his name. Jesus. Glory to God. Yes. Yes. He, said, he said, reach out and touch him because Jesus. He's passing, passing by. I reach out and touch him because he's passing by. Amen. Sometimes we're not reaching out far enough, man. Yes. Sometimes we're not reaching out far enough to touch Jesus. Mm. But if you look at the story of Brian Bartimaeus, yes. you notice that he started to shout somewhere that Jesus got his attention, man. My mm -hmm. God. He showed so much that Jesus, the Bible said that Jesus stood still. Jesus not, could not believe that so much people on this Jericho road and one man is shouting that Jesus heard the man show. That means God right. was shouting on top of his voice because he knew what he needed was in that person. That's all right. When you yeah. understand that you're healing, when you understand right. that the miracle that you're waiting for, when you understand that the bridge that you're waiting for is not in people, but is in Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes Lord. When you understand that the thing that you're facing with, the man is blind, he's a beggar, but he knew that's not how it's supposed to be in his life. Yes, sir. That's all right. If I am called by his name, I'm not 
supposed to be living like a pauper. And yeah. Jesus is my daddy. Right. And so That's in true. this season, I challenge the church of God, named Faith Temple, shout unto your God. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I hope the church is hearing me now. Jesus used different methods and healed people. Yeah. Oh, yes. Jesus, let me say this again. Jesus used different methods and healed people. Yes, yeah. He said to the disciples, the reason why the man born blind, mm -hmm. that's what you thought. It's not what you perceive it to be. Right. Based on what was happening at the time, because if you were born, I didn't believe then you must did something wrong. Mm -hmm. So the yeah. reason why I allow this man to be born blind, uh, it's so I can work the works. Uh, I mean, yeah. that's yeah. 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 I come yeah. and and no man. Shout, man. Glory to God. Shout. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless his name. Shout. If Solomon mm -hmm. says there's a season, I'm asking you for everything. Amen. And he lists a litany of different things. So then sometimes we need to change some things in our life. Yes. Because sometimes some things become ritual. Mm -hmm. I go to every morning yes. back and I get on my knees and I pray. Before I go to bed, I pray. And I do that and that is okay. But what God is saying in this season here, you have to show up, man. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm assaulting. Assaulting is good. Mm. The man showed until Jesus stood still. Mighty let, God. let me read the verse again, man. I, 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 you see, I'm claiming this for myself, you know. Yeah. And many charge him, verse 48, many charge him that he should hold his peace. Mm -hmm. But he cried the more with a great deal. Yes. The son of David, have mercy, have on, mercy me. on me. Oh, bless God. And Jesus stood still. Yes. Oh, a yes, blind God. beggar. Yes. A hey. blind beggar. Yes. He has nothing, Bishop, going on for him. Hey. That's Jesus, all right. a beggar. A blind beggar got oh. the attention of Jesus. The Bible said that Jesus stood still. Mm. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yes, amen. amen. Got the attention of Jesus because he was persistent. Yes. He was relentless. Mm -hmm. He was determined. Yes. 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 He was not careless or reckless. No. He started to show that they couldn't believe, tell him to keep quiet. And the more mm -hmm. he told him to be quiet, the more he the shouted. More him shout. You can't let people yeah. tell you to be quiet, man. You can't let people tell you say it's not all about church. Oh, yeah. You tell you that church folks are hypocrites. Shout! Mm. Because your healing might just be in your shout. Yes. I do believe that blind Bartimaeus was there for a long time. Mm. I believe that he was in that same position. He's in that same job, not making any money. He's working from paycheck to paycheck. But he was there. Jesus was in Jericho for some time. Jesus mm. was about to leave Jericho. And Bartimaeus said, no way. Because now it's my season. I'm going to show. Yes. I can't see right. my way in life. Mm -hmm. But I have but a show. I, yes, I have a show. I can't yeah. see my way to go and touch Jesus. But I, I have a show. But I have a show. Mighty God, sure. mighty God. And said to cast yes. all your cares on him because he cares. Come up to me, all those who labor. Yeah, man, 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 man. Jesus, I come on. Mm. And they brought yeah. the blind man to Jesus. Let's go, man. What do you want? Bartimaeus mm. says, Are you kidding me, Jesus? Uh -huh. oh. I want to receive my sight, man. I want to see, man. I want to be, I able, want to to be able to, to receive my sight, man. I'm yes. not that tired of sitting on this world. People take step on me, man. Yes. They, they abuse me in the church. They abuse me in my family. They abuse me at work, man. I, I'm just tired, man. I want to receive my sight, man. Oh, it's yeah. Because oh, I'm yeah. lazy. It's not because I'm not ambitious, but I can't see. I'm blind. I've been in this whole system, folks, for some time now. 
And if I turn up the lights, I cannot feel my, see my way around. Yes. I have to feel my way around, even though it's my house. That's right. Imagine That's right. how bad to me is what they could not see. Mm -hmm. no, I don't know no, if all, he in there daily, but regardless of that, he was a beggar. Yes. Yes. And he shouted, Bishop, until Jesus, the Bible said, stood still. I That's right. I'm, preaching to now. I'm telling you, man, continue to shout, man. Oh, bless God. God. Amen. Amen. You're waiting, Amen. you're waiting on your healing. You're waiting on your breakthrough. You're waiting on the thing that you're seeking God for. And, mm -hmm. and I'm come as a preacher to tell you, shout, man. Amen. Oh, I came as a preacher to tell you. I speak with authority. I speak the oracles of God. Shout! Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 unto God. Yes. Jesus stood still. If Jesus stood still for Bartimaeus, Oh, yes. did not he did have a her. relationship with him. He I was her. called by his name. I was washed and bought with a price. Oh, by the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm calling Jesus. I'm calling Jesus. I'm calling Jesus. I need my healing. Yes. I need my restoration. Oh, yes. I need my breakthrough. Jesus, Jesus. Don't pass me by. Hallelujah. 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 Amen, 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 amen. 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 Call his name. Stand to your feet, church. Praise God. Rest on your feet, church. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I'm wondering if somebody could help me. Deacon, can you find that song? Don't pass me by, please. Can you find that song? Ask me not, oh gentle Savior. Ask me not, oh gentle Savior. Hallelujah. Hear my hymn of God. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Glory, Glory to God. To God. Praise Christ God. Christ God. Oh, thank Hallelujah. you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise, Praise God. God. Praise his name. Mark to be oh. a to be a stuck on this Jericho Road for a long time. Yes. yes. Stuck on this Jericho Road for a long time. Mm. And Jesus almost left Jericho almost missed blind Bartimaeus, but he was persistent in shouting for Jesus. Hallelujah. He was Amen. persistent. He was committed to get his breakthrough. No, I don't know I'm preaching to, but there's a young lady that's stuck in her job and she's mm. working from paycheck to paycheck. But I challenge you in the name of Jesus. I challenge you as a man of God. I challenge you that you shout unto God in this season and watch oh, God yeah. and still. The Bible said that he, he watches over his word. Oh, yeah. Amen. His word above his name. He called oh, Jesus, yeah. son of David. Jesus. He's seen his word. Oh, God. bless God. Bless the Lord. Amen. Deacon, can you, can, you, can you play that song for me, please? Pass me not, O oh gentle sin. Oh, 
also helpeth our infirmities. For we know what we should pray. The Spirit itself maketh intercession for us, groaning which cannot be other. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is in the mind and the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints, according to the will of God. It was the will of God for Jesus to heal the man who the disciples said who sinned. It was in the will of God to heal blind Bartimaeus. It's in the will of God to bless his people. That's why he said in Psalms number one, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, which he meditate day and night. And he should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring it its fruit in its season. Now you are in a season to be healed. Now you are in a season to be blessed. Now you are in a season to be restored. The same God who parted the Red Sea. The same God who created all things. Bible said that he is able to do exceedingly. Yes, not only what we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore in the season, church. Speak to me. Oh, bless God. Speak to me. Speak to me, Jesus. Your breakthrough is in your shout. Answer to your cry is in your shout. The Bible said in Psalms 47, he says, I, 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 I love the Lord because he heard my cry. Yes, amen. The Bible said that. I love the Lord because he heard my cry. And he inclined his ear unto my cry. The Psalm is saying, I was crying out to God. And he heard me. Whatever you do in this season, brethren, faith temple, and to the other brethren that's online. If you don't know who Jesus is, I would ask of you to accept Jesus as your personal savior. Oh, yes. Things that Bartimaeus was seeking for wasn't food or money from Jesus. Because Jesus is more than money and food. Hmm. Jesus, thing, Jesus is all that. Whatever you need is in Jesus. Whatever we need is in Jesus. If you were shouting yesterday, and if you were shouting this morning, keep on shouting tonight. Oh, yes. Keep on shouting tomorrow. Keep on shouting Tuesday if the Lord tarries, man. Because you are in a season that God is saying, I want my church. Oh, my God. I want my people to shout and watch what I would do. If I did it for Bartimaeus, certainly I'm willing and able and ready to do it for you. Thank you so much. Thank God you. bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. We thank God today for his word to our hearts. Amen. We give him praise and honor. We will listen to a wonderful message of faith. And I like the outline of the message today. Praise God. The preacher was very careful in making sure that he set the pace to let us know that Jesus is passing this way today. He was passing by the way where, amen, he could have heard the voice of the caller, amen. And the caller, amen, did not refuse to be quieted, but the caller continued to call upon, thou son of David, have mercy on me. I want to bring it home to us. We are all living in Jericho. But today, as the preacher said, there's a special time and a special season for everything. We may have been calling a long time or heard of Jesus a long time, but today, guess what? 
He's passing right where we are at in our Jericho. Amen. And guess what? He's going to make his presence, um, amen, felt and known. But those who had need, amen, call upon Jesus. But one outstanding person as a preacher, amen, let us know or reminded us, this man was blind for a long time. But it's not the first time he heard about the son of David. But I can imagine this is the first time the son of David is coming by his way Hallelujah. in physical form, in reality. Amen. And he would not want, amen, for Jesus to pass by without having an interaction with Jesus. Oh, so tell the crowd around us. Tell the people that don't want to hear praises going up. Amen. We want to say, amen, you have silenced me for a very long time. But today is my day because Jesus is passing my way today. That's what the preacher was telling us, amen, for the duration of his message. But I like when the preacher reminded us that this man heard about, amen, not just a man coming in town, but he heard and he was taught from his upbringing that from the root of Jesse, the son of David, and from the son of David, amen, would come a Messiah, amen, who everybody who are in their blinded situation and in their darkened situation could come to see the light. This man was born blind, and if you are the son of David, Hallelujah. Your name is Jesus. I want to bring it a little more closer. Jesus is passing our way today. Whatever the situation is, he is the healer divine. Jesus is passing very near. And if we continue to let him know that we are in a situation, and we may have been calling upon him for a long time, but today he's giving us a patronage. He's saying to you, I want for everybody around, amen, to let this man come nearer to me so I can look him in his face. And though he cannot see me, but I can let him know and ask of him, what does he want of me? And as the preacher said, not money, not treasuries, not gold or silver. I want to be able to see you, amen. We want to see Jesus from our soul, from our heart, from our mind. Let our minds be open, as the preacher concluded his message to say, if, we, if anybody is here today who wants a deeper understanding of who God is, of who Jesus is, talk with him. Tell him our needs. And for those, especially those who are weak and troubled and sick and hungry, he has heard our cry, and he's so near to us that he's going to be saying to you, amen, after, I like the, the notion that was brought out also, the man hearing that Jesus wants him to become closer, move the clothes that would be a barrier. This old rugged torn garment, Jesus is going to give me a, 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 a coat of pure white, a newness, a deliverance, a freedom, an ability to see him and to see others. I'm laying aside the doubt and the fear. I'm laying aside the old rugged garment. Amen. For Jesus is my Savior and Lord, and he will give me a robe of pure white. You're going to receive a robe of pure white today because Jesus Christ is passing this way. And you just cry no matter how hard you can cry or how simple you can cry, make your cries be known unto the Lord that we are blinded, we are shut in, we have no building, we have no home, we have no loved ones around us, but we have Jesus who is our refuge and our strength, and he's right here today. I like the back and flow conversation with Jesus and, and this blinded man. Amen. Oh, what will you have me to do? Amen. Amen. Particularly 
He knows that if he receives his sight, he will be able to earn a living. He'll be able to go out. He'll be able to praise him even the more. And Jesus wants his personal needs to be met. Tell it to Jesus. You have been maybe telling him a long time, but guess what? The, the preacher acknowledged that Jesus healed him and made him whole. So I'm just passing on that today to say, you are being made whole today in the name of Jesus. You are being made delivered in the name of Jesus because he is the healer divine and he is the savior all the time. And guess what? All the conditions of life that you, amen, are lacking will be fulfilled because Jesus is the door open and he opens the door and he's bidding those who are not saved and those who are saved to come right on in and have great fellowship with him even the more. God bless your hearts. Today I do pray that, amen, everyone listening have been blessed and received something to comfort your heart. And in our closing, I'm going to ask God to remember especially those, amen, who are sick physically and blind spiritually, that almighty God would come and make his grand tour and call us to his table, amen, because it's not the crowd so much he come for, but he come for you who have been calling. Have you been calling on Jesus? I say to you, if you have been, I'm passing this message to us today. Your call has been answered. Your request has been made known. And the healer divine is right here passing through. Take hold of him, amen, before he continues on his journey to further go. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, let us bow our heads in prayer, saints. Dear God, we commit to you especially those who are born blind and need to receive sight and have not been, eyes have not been opened yet. Amen. But Jesus, the, the pastor by with healing, with deliverance, amen, with soul satisfaction can meet upon the personal needs that are being cried about. I ask for you, God Almighty, to pass by this way. Amen. Pass by our way. Amen, God, and deliver every captive soul who is bound by affliction, every captive soul who has not able to see you face to face, just heard about you, but having not the ability to see your glory and your majesty and the honor of your presence and how gracious you are. But, oh, Lord, I beg of you, Lord, as they are delivered from the physical barrier of blindness, they will see you in all your glory, robed in righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne, and you are coming to deliver us and to bring us along with you into complete victory. Hear these children's cry, God Almighty, heal the eyes, everybody with an eye, Amen. Situation. Everybody with a heart situation. Everybody with a, a numbness situation. Everybody with a respiratory condition. Everybody, God Almighty, who long to be able to have the ability to cry and cannot even cry because the crowd is silencing them and showing them something else. Amen. But Jesus, thou son of David, pass by this house. Knock at this door in the name of Jesus. Heal and cleanse and deliver and make whole. We are not being quieted. We are receiving Jesus. And hear what Jesus did. He called your name. Amen. Bring him to me. You are right now in the presence of Almighty God. Make your petition known. Say to Jesus, uh, I am blind. I cannot see him. Heal my eyes in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from the blood pressure. Deliver me from the diabetes. Deliver me from all the other conditions, God. Deliver me from the cancer. Deliver me from all the other infection and infirmities of life. I surrender all. 
cast away those old tattered garments and Jesus will give us a robe of pure white. And he's waiting this moment before he leaves Jericho. He's calling your name. Answer him. Say to Jesus, here I am. And uh, Jesus will say to you or to us, what will thou have me to do? Just tell him uh, significantly, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And if you just tell him that, your pocketbook will be open. You don't have to become a beggar anymore. Yeah, your house will be painted because you, there's a home in glory and it is built for square and no beggars are in glory. It's a reward for your blessing by surrender to him. Do so today in the name of Jesus. And all those who have been calling on Jesus a long time for supernatural healing, guess what? He's in town. Hey, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, I pray. Come in today. Come in and stay. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Jesus has redeemed and restored you. Be healed. Be delivered. Amen. And give God the glory. And don't, 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 don't keep down on your cry. Cry and let everybody know that Jesus has passed by and has reached out his hand and have healed you and make you whole. Father God, we tell you thanks for all that you have done today and for the message and for the messenger. I beg you to bless him, God, and lift him up as he continues to dispel your word and to also encourage people to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Thank you for all those names that have been called before the altar today. Remember them, God, and have that as you listen to their cry, you will pass by. And, oh God, we also promise that we'll throw away the old tattered garment and behold you face to face in all your glory. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for your blessing upon all the family members, God, that so many people are worried about. Amen. We want our sons and our daughters. We want our friends and our neighbors. Amen. Remember them in all your mercy and in all your grace. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us today and for the message. In Jesus' name, amen. We're coming to a close, um, dear saints. Thank you for, amen, sharing with us and for supporting this ministry. Mm. I do pray that God will continue to bless and to deliver you and to give you the victory mm. as you continue to wait upon him. We're going to pronounce doxology and then close in Jesus' name. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his royal throne, even the Son of God, him the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, who died upon Calvary's cross, who shall come to bring us up on the last day and to take us before the throne of God and present us as his bride. Even in his name we do pray. And when we asunder part, it gives us inward pain, but we are still joined in heart. We hope to meet again. May God bless and sanctify all as we dismiss us in faith in Jesus' name. God bless you, saints. Amen.